Before I came to Madrid, exactly two weeks ago, I experienced 16 foot swells that forced 200 people from their homes. Not only do we have inundations, but we also have the dengue fever epidemic, the flu. And I know just recently, our Pacific neighbors in Samoa are fighting the measles that took 70 lives, 30 of which are children under the age of four. These are illnesses linked to and made worse by climate change. We've been told that if we want to stay in our islands, we'd have to adapt and elevate, and with migration as the only plan B. We're having to deal with these issues that we in the first place did not create. And may I remind you, the Marshall Islands' contribution to climate change is only 0.00001% of the world's emissions. This is why our country is pushing for a social media campaign called Mad for Survival. And we encourage everyone to join in. My home is only two meters above water. With the threats of climate change, we'd lose two meters of our culture, our Yahweh, our Manat, our Roro, our Beat, our language, two meters of our legends. This is why we created a Youth Leaders Coalition that has the youth create innovative ways to fight climate change and lobby them towards our leaders. A team of students came up with a new sustainable design for a seawall that our Minister of Environment, David Paul, has shown interest towards. This is why our youth should be more involved. When you are in trouble, you find new solutions to face it. and our youth has proven to do so. This is why I'm here, to represent them and their ideas, to be a part of the generation that's going to end the fight against climate change, to voice out the reality of the future that the Marshall Islands is facing, to tell you that we don't want to lose our only two meters. Thank you.